Hey everyone, as you can tell I'm not in my usual office, I'm on a holiday, but um, I have for you the interview with Red and I didn't want you to miss out on it, so I'm uploading anyway this week. Um, so what I have for you is part one, uh, because it was about 20 minutes, so I decided to cut it in half. What I tried to do was in the beginning first establish a bit the situation for LGBT people in Brazil, because uh, as an outsider it's kind of hard to um, understand, you know, what it's like for queer people in Brazil and the way that the show had an impact on people there, because I know that's the first lesbian web series in Brazil, but you know, I know the impact it has on me, but what kind of impact does it have in its own country? So that's what I wanted to know. And then I started talking about season one, you know, the beginning of it, and um, I end with season four in this part. Next part, we're mainly talking about season four and five, which you can now watch online, and I can really recommend it. If you haven't watched season five already, you can download the entire season, and they're currently releasing a new episode for free every week. So you could decide to do that. If, then there might be some spoils in my next season, uh, in my next video, if you haven't watched it already. Enjoy, and if you want more videos, please subscribe. That really helps me also on these future con trips. Uh, what also helps is if you like my video um, by giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends, that would be awesome. If you want to help the community, all my videos are open for community translation. So if you happen to know Brazilian Portuguese and you can help out your Brazilian friends, uh, that would be awesome. You can help everybody out by adding that to my video. Also, did you know that you can buy me a virtual coffee at coffee.com slash meemoeder? It's like a tip jar, online tip jar. You can buy me a virtual coffee and it all goes into my goal of purchasing new vlog equipment. So yeah, that really helps if you do that. The link's in the description. You know, you can add a fun message if you want. <laughs> you don't have to, but uh, it's greatly appreciated. Okay, thank you very, very much. So I was um, really happy to see that you were announced to Love Fan Fest this year. Um, how's it been so far? You've had your first morning and... Uh, did you have uh, nice meetings with people or? Yes, so nice meetings with people and to know people uh, from another countries. Um, it's really, really um, make me very happy because um, I know about um, people's life <laughs> and, um, and I can, uh, we have a chance uh, people to know each other, to know us and our show especially because uh, I don't know, I think not uh, the ma I don't know, majority of the people here knows red, but not everyone. So it's very good to share, to share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they're really open to, you know, to get to know. Yeah. And they're really yeah. special in the way that you feel embraced. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's uh, really I'll use the word special again, but it's it's an amazing experience. Yeah. Yes, oh, that's great. I think what you say, like people are really open to high quality mm -hmm. uh, queer shows, and your show is definitely beautiful. It's uh, it's something else. So yeah. Thank you. Um, so I'm not from Brazil. <laughs> Can you help me explain what the current situation is for LGBTQ people in Brazil? because I get mixed messages. <laughs> so, for instance, can people just walk hand in hand on the streets or is it too dangerous or would you say it's okay? Can, yeah. Yeah, um, well, it's definitely like, it's not like a safe space or a safe place for LGBT people because, and this is the numbers say that we are the number one country that kills LGBT people. So, unfortunately, oh. Unfortunately, we have this like it's so far from a war, you know. Yeah. We don't want to be like number one in that, but it's a reality. But I, I think it depends on the kind of circle you live. Uh, for me, I don't feel that so much, uh, like LGBT like woman. I live like I can say in a kind of a bubble because some some people live like that. Uh, the circle and people that I, I, my friends and family, they are all very accepting, but I know this is not the reality of the most of them, the most yeah. of people yeah. also. Uh -huh. And people get killed like every day because they are trans and they're gay and lesbians. Yes. And we know that happened. Um, fortunately, I, I live in a, one of the biggest cities in Brazil, so it's easier for anyone who lives more open-minded yeah, people. people right. Even though you, you would still have like you know things bad things would happen, it's it's 
better for us. But I know it happens. You know, we, we as I as I said, we are we kind of have this privilege of living up a place and circles that are more accepting. Um, and the art people, they are more yeah, open yeah, and, and, and they you live know. in a circle that you know with creators and people mm -hmm. involved with, with art. Most of people are very like open to you know to so differences, whatever they are. So, but the reality in general of the country, uh, it, it's that's not a safe uh, place for LGBT people. Yeah, it's a, yeah. So you are the first lesbian web series in your country. When season one dropped, what were the first responses that you received? Huh. Uh, we, I think, the beginning. Because we didn't have like um, a way or money to put on like marketing the series, it was like very um, uh, is slow. Like the 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 feedback. I mean, we had since the beginning we have such a great feedback, but it yeah. was like a small number of people. Mm -hmm. And but the, because our uh, the way we promote series very organic, so people like the series and tell the friends to watch it. Uh, so it demands time. So our fan base uh, uh, at the time of this of season two, I think it was like the time it, it really um, began to. Uh, <clears throat> we really began to create like a, a larger fan base. Mm -hmm. But just not just, but just because we really didn't have a way to market the city better, so we would have to wait for people to, to come to us. It know? was a really positive feedback. We never yeah, but uh, since got the beginning through was, something uh, that wasn't nice. Okay. You know, everything that happened with Red happened in a really special and positive way. Like uh, having experience outside Brazil, getting nominated for other countries, like oh my god, look what they're doing, you know? Yeah. And we're like, oh my god, yeah, we are. Yeah. And, and it's amazing. We are liking too. So I think we always uh, manage yeah. to to figure out yeah. what's always positive. Sometimes, how. sometimes I joke because uh, today, I mean, we have uh, uh, big feedback, but it's mostly positive. And sometimes I joke saying, okay, when we start getting like haters, mm -hmm. it's probably because we, we really made it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Because it's reaching, <laughs> because so far we are so niche yeah. that people that would come to, our, to us are the people who like it, who yeah. watch it and like it. Mm -hmm. So, and the time we, we, we managed to, to reach people that wouldn't like it, you know, it's when you start to get like kind of mainstream that it would yeah. uh, reach a large number of people and some of them could be you know don't yeah. like it uh, and be haters mm -hmm. but so far we mostly our feedback is very positive yeah, and we nice. have a lot of feedback because okay. we have uh, all it's also part of the project um, the idea of have this interactive feedback with so we talk with offense Mm -hmm. Through our social medias, uh, through you know, red social medias, mine and our pers personal. personal. So this is also part of the project. Don't have like a you know nothing separate, nothing separating us from the people who watch the show. So we talk with everyone, and we have a lot of channels like channels like Instagram, Facebook, and and Vimeo. So feedback comes from like all over mm -hmm. our channels and their channels, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. social media, and it's great. So, um, Red it originally starts as two actors on screen who, uh, who have a, a relationship on screen and then fall in love off screen. Um, I think that's basically every fan's <laughs> fantasy here at Love Fan Fest, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> where they think like, oh, we see a couple on screen and then it's in real life too. <laughs> <laughs> have any actors come up and talk to you and say like, well, thanks for feeding that idea. Now I have it even more. <laughs> it was not random because I I'm, I am this public. I know you know I know you because I am you. Yeah, I so thought I, I was going to ask like <laughs> the, the general <laughs> fantasy of everyone. So uh, by the time we are thinking about okay, we wanted to tell like a love story between 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 two women, but the, 
this could be like whatever and we thought okay maybe it'll be interesting like to have that that is a fantasy <laughs> of every fan to have like two actresses that would you know work together like love interest yeah. Yeah. Took the, so it was not random. It's because I knew we knew it was like it yeah. was a fantasy. Of a I thought movie. it was pretty clever when I yeah. first saw it. <laughs> 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 what, what, anyone in particular you had your uh, inspiration from, or uh, just uh, just any? Yeah, no, for this 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 main premise of the no, it's just this fantasy. Yeah. This was the inspiration. <laughs> the fans' fantasy of having two actresses together. <laughs> that was. Interesting. Um, so at Klexicon last year, mm -hmm. you both said that uh, when you read the script for season four, you both had moments where you're like, oh, I'm going to call her because <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> and we hadn't watched season four yet. So I always wondered, like, what were the exact moments that you were like, mm, are you sure this is a good idea? Mm -hmm. uh, season four. Five, right? No, season four, of four. four. It was before the five. We were not sure. Uh, Wait for no. season five. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> yes. gap worse. <laughs> no. no, I'm I'm joking. It's uh, it's because we 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 really we are like uh, uh, fans of uh, the characters. You yeah, know? we really watch we, our show. You know. We, <laughs> yes, yes, we watch like uh, like uh, like you. You know. Yeah. Oh my God, what is she doing? You know, for me, I. Yeah. Like the, and How so, do you say spectador in uh, audience? Yeah, yeah, yeah. audience. Yeah. Yeah. audience. Yeah. I think I heard show, something yeah. I recognized. Yes, yes. <laughs> <That's why. laughs> this show I don't. I, I okay. I, I, I uh, watch my interpretation and something, but but not just this. I, I really enjoy the the story of the, the love story here. And uh, and then we always we always talk to Germana. Germana, why? What is happening? <laughs> yes. We suffer too. Yes, 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 we suffer a lot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that was part one already. I'm sorry. <laughs> You'll have to wait another week for the second part. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you uh, want to know what it's uh, uploaded. If you haven't watched season five already, do it now. You can find it on Vimeo. So give it a thumbs up and uh, see you next week. Bye.